What's up guys, we have some news regarding Ripple, we will check if they are good or bad. First of all, Ripple says it will go public after winning its case against the SEC. Quite optimistic in my opinion. Good news for all XRP investors. Well, how you take it, this case is not even close to being over. So planning after winning it, it is a little arrogant in my opinion. So guys, welcome to Crypto Titan. The current price of XRP is 59 cents and 85, which is 1.57% lower than the same price yesterday. Market cap has been lower, volumes have been drastically lower. Right now, $1.47 billion and 36% increase in a single day. In a single day, imagine that yesterday it was $2 billion. Now it is for more than $600 million less. That's huge, huge plunge. And the price started basically from 60.83, surged all the way up to 61.72, which was the highest point of the day. After it, the lowest point of the day was 59.17. We had surged to 61.2 and ups and, and downs. Right now, it looks like it is going to plunge a little bit more. So guys, let's check the latest news. First, Brad Garlington posted, who is, if you don't know, the CEO of Ripple. He posted, excited to announce Ripple bought back our Series C shares at a $15 billion valuation. So let's check that. CryptoBiz Ripple takes the high road. So Ripple ongoing battle with the SEC isn't stopping the blockchain payment company for from carving out a stronger position in the market. Those are good news. So here they are basically buying back all those shares. So here we purchased all of the outstanding shares that were issued in the deal. Ripple said the share repurchase reflected the company's extreme strong position in the market. Of course, CEO is going to say that and strong balance sheet. Of course, he needs to reassure investors. And here we have some bad news. James K. Phelan, ex XRP community. So SEC versus Ripple, you can see here in a text only order, Judge Nedburn granted in part the SEC's request for extension of the time regarding reconsideration of her DPP ruling. So guys, right now, because of those like extensions of time, and right now it is going to be prolonged even more than it should have been. So right now, it is not going to finish in the end of the first quarter. It is going to go deep in the second quarter and maybe third one. Besides that here, the worst I've written, I'm sorry, one question I've asked every time I'm on a podcast of being interviewed, so people want to know, um, so just give us the brutally honest opinion, estimate of how long the SEC versus Ripple case is going to, to take and when it is going to resolve. John E. Ditton has been in crypto for quite some time, and so he posted the whole description. So here, first is of all, if you watched those interviews, you know I placed a lot of emphasis on the judge DPP ruling. I said, if the judge pierced the deliberative process privilege and ordered the SEC internal documents produced, we could see a settlement within 90 days. But the SEC's big victory is that most of the documents do not have to be produced. And and like basically Ripple's lawyers don't know what to do in that case. Besides that, some people are wondering, dreaming, like what if this happens? Well, that is just a dream, buddy. Why? When you go to Lunar Crash, you can see they lost socially week weekly and daily and they have been continuing to lose. When you go to moving averages and technicals, 5 minutes strong sell, 15 minutes strong sell, 30, hourly, 5 hours, so everything is in strong red. Everything is in strong red. This was yesterday, January 27th. So, price was lower, now, now it is lower as well. Technicals were neutral, now, now they are strong sell. Market cap is lower now. Volume is lower, social media buzz, everything is in red right now compared to yesterday. So this is a clear sell signal. Tell me guys what you think about it in the comments and invest wisely.